What up, everybody? Um, this is Michael Cannell, yours truly, and I'm going to be starting up this YouTube channel for all the sports people out there, you know, trying to hear about sports and everything that has to do with sports. Um, I've been wanting to use this platform to create these kind of videos for a long time now, but now I'm actually getting started. Um, big thanks to my friends, too. They've been telling me to start this YouTube channel as well. So here it is, here and now. Michael Canelo's channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and follow it always if you want the sports content. And today I'm be doing a video about women's sports as well as men's sports in the NFL, NBA, and talk about the playoff picture, the college football playoff, a recap of what happened this past weekend in sports. So here it goes. Um, first of all, I want to start with women's sports. I'm doing this. I want to get more content out there for women's sports because there's not a lot of people talking about women's sports. This is huge for me because women's sports is nice and brings a lot of value, but also it doesn't get much as television coverage as many other sports do, like in the men's so sports. Here to recap, um, women's college basketball this weekend, Maryland defeats James Madison 101-59. to Miss Ashley contributed with 19.7 assists and 8 rebounds, while her teammate Miller contributed with 18 points, 2 assists, and 6 rebounds. On the James Madison side, Payne McDaniels contributed with 14 points, an assist, and 4 rebounds, and her teammate Jeremiah contributed with 11 points, 1 assist, and 4 rebounds. UConn defeated Xavier 106 to 59. The UConn guard Christine. Christy Williams contributed with 24 points, 3 assists, and 2 rebounds. And the Xavier guard, Kerry Goss, contributed with 7 points, 2 assists, and 2 rebounds for her team. Number 1, Stanford beat USC 80-60. to Stanford's guard, Lexi Hall, contributed with 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. And the USC center, Miss Rogers contributed with game high 26 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Baylor beats McNeese 117 to 24, which I'm not surprised by. Um, Baylor's guard Jordan Oliver contributed with 15 points, 11 rebounds, a double double, and three assists. On the McNeese side, Whitney Johnson three points, four rebounds, and an assist. Number eight, Oregon defeated Washington 73 to 49. Oregon's forward. Shel um, Miss Shelby contributed with 13.7 boards and two assists. Washington center Miss Reese contributed with 20 points, four rebounds, and an assist. Wolfords was defeated by number nine Kentucky 98-37 with um, Kentucky's guard Christine Patterson with 17 points, a rebound, and four assists. Walter, Walter, I mean Wolfords Helen. Matthews contributed with 6 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. With more action coming from Saturday night, number 11, UCLA defeats Cal 71-37. UCLA's guard contributed with 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists. Cal's guard, Miss Daniels, contributed with 14 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double, and 1 assist. Number 12 of Arkansas beats Little Rock 80-70. Arkansas's guard... Chelsea, 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists. Little Rocks, Brianna Crane, 27 points, game high, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist. On um, late night action, South Dakota State beats number 20, Murray State, 60, 52, in a much closer game than what people expected. South Dakota's forward, Miss Salen, contributed with 19 points, 10 rebounds, a double double, and 6 assists. Murray State's forward, Jasmine Franklin, 8 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist. Number 24, DePaul beats Georgetown, 72-54. DePaul's guard, D, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 2 assists. Georgetown's guard, Jaz Jasmine, 18 points, 2 rebounds, and 1 assist. On the Sunday Sunday recap, number 4, North Carolina State defeats Miami, 78-47. North Carolina State's center, Alisa, contributed with 60 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 block. Miami's guard. Taylor Madison, 10 points, 8 rebounds, and a block. Number six, Arizona defeated Utah 77 60. Arizona's guard, 
Harry McDonald's six point no six rebounds, six assists, and nineteen points. Utah's forward, Peyton McFarland, ten points, eleven rebounds and two assists, a double double. Texas A and M defeated Rice fifty seven fifty three in a close matchup, which I didn't see this coming, but uh, um Aaliyah Wilson led the way for our um for Texas A Texas A and M sixty points, six rebounds and one assist. Rice guard Jasmine Smith, 18 points, three, re- three rebounds, and three assists. Indiana defeated Nebraska, 81-41. Nebraska's forward, Isabel Bourne, led the way with with um, 16.6 rebounds and assists. Indiana's forward led the way with 18 points, 12 rebounds, one assist, and 60 points. 16 points, 6 rebounds, and assists. Number 18, Syracuse defeated Boston College, 83-70. Syracuse center, Camelia Carrasco, 24 points, 7 rebounds, and a steal. Boston College center, Clara Ford, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and a steal as well. Number 25, Gonzaga ended out the day with defeating Eastern Michigan, 77-68. Um, Gonzaga's forward, Jen 18 points, 10 rebounds, and assist. Eastern Michigan's guard, Jenna, 27 points, 1 rebound, and 6 assists. Um, these games, some of these games were close, but some other weren't. But um, I want to talk about more about women's sports. Another thing that came out of women's sports is um, Alex Morgan. Um, she's going back to Orlando Pride after uh, a, just a, I want to say, mid-season stint with Tottenham. This is something she wanted to do for not n- not do for a whole year, and she's seen herself coming back. But she came out with this today, I believe, and she wants to thank all the fans for Tottenham and how London treated her and everything. But she's ready to come back home and get prepared for the Olympics, which are got canceled this year because the pandemic, and will help happen in 2021. This is very important because. Um, Women don't get that coverage that men do, so I like watching women's sports. It's very fundamental when it comes to basketball, and it's just a different type of sport that everyone should watch because it's very good to enjoy.